Hello everyone. Uh, this tutorial is to help you unlock a Huawei D100 3G Wi-Fi adapter. Um, now there's a few of these in different shapes and sizes. Basically a couple of different companies have got the same hardware inside them. And this particular example was from T-Mobile. Now when you get it from the manufacturer, from T-Mobile in this case, if you attempt to use a 3G stick from a different company, I've got a BT 3G stick here, you'll find that the box will reject the um, stick. It needs to be unlocked. Unlike mobile phone unlocking, unlocking one of these stations is about um, updating the firmware and not using a unlocking code like you would use with a 3G stick. Um, so what we've done is I've prepared everything for you the files and the software that you need to do the update for this uh, tutorial you're going to need obviously uh, your power cable ready there's a tiny on and off switch here at the back at the moment it's off and you're also going to need your network cable now uh, later on we're going to plug this in but before we do we're going to download the files that we need uh, which has got a copy of the unlocked firmware for the modem or should I say router um, right go in here what you'll need is and can be found at isgood.co.uk go to that forum visit the Huawei section and you'll find a topic there for the D100 Wi-Fi LAN adapter. Um, as you can see it comes in a couple of different uh, shapes and sizes but the internals are all the same. The next step is to download this file. Now to get access to this file you're going to need to fill out a survey. Uh, you'll get a choice and uh, quite simply I'll just sort of click here a couple of uh, pages this is what it would look like and in this situation we're deciding to uh, grab ourselves a free iPad we've now got another page to fill out where we choose an, an accessory in this example and then we provide our details to them once you've done that you'll find that you'll get access to this screen and you will be able to click on regular download and you're going to download the file now remember where you save this file could be in the desktop or wherever it is in this scenario I've put mine here in this folder and what we're going to do is unpack the file this is a zip file although Windows can unpack these files I have WinRAR installed so if you are right clicking on the file and you do not see the option extract files here, extract here and so on it's because I'm using WinRAR so all you need to do is go to uh, RAR labs sorry rarlab.com it's a free download and you need to click on downloads and then just download the version for your system I expect you to be a Windows system as the firmware updater software is for Windows um, only so you choose your version you save it you run it you install it and after you do that uh, when you right click on the file that you download you will see the extract files extract here uh, or extract into a folder we're going to choose to extract into a folder of the same name as the file and there it is and inside here we have uh, a this long number it happens to be the version number of the firmware for those of you that are interested and we have a piece of software now for the next step I like to disconnect myself from uh, the wireless I'm going to do this by just pushing a button on my laptop however uh, for those of you that might not have one we just need to right click here and choose disconnect from and your wireless. If you're connected by a network cable on your laptop then basically just unplug that and you'll be disconnected from the internet. So um, I'm going to push my 
button. And the next thing I'm going to do is switch on the T-Mobile device. And I just hold it down and you can see it powering up there. We're going to give it a few seconds for it to get ready. So that it will be ready when we connect the cable. And I would say it's done by now with the two lights on. We're going to unplug the network cable at the back of the modem. and also connect it to the laptop. Now that we've done that, we notice that we have a, a status. We've been given an IP address by the modem. We can check what that IP address is. We just click on the start button, type in CMD, and then the command IP config. Now I've got some virtual wear software, so I've got quite a few adapters which are all disconnected. But if I scroll up here, you'll see that I've been given an IP address on my network card Ethernet adapter. And the default gateway is actually the IP address of the little box. We can mark this with a right click highlight the number, it will just save us the time in typing it in. We we'll right click once we've made the selection and we go back to our browser and paste, that was control V on the keyboard and we leave this page and let's just do that again and you can see that I'm logging into the modems uh, page now this particular device has already been unlocked normally you would see on the screen here if you had in this case a T-Mobile you will see T-Mobile branding and T-Mobile logos okay so this proves that we're connected uh, by cable and uh, everything's on and everything looks good we've downloaded the software so we go over to the software folder here and we run the application And all we have to do next is click on check. All being well, we should get a list of the device connected. And there it is. You can see that the original software that it has is actually the same version as the software that it thinks is going to update. Um, normally you would expect to see it differently, uh, where you would see one version of the software and a different version number on the update that we're going to put into it. The next step is to click on update. Now, what is super, super, super important right now is that we do not play around with this. We must let the procedure complete. If uh, you're using a laptop like myself, have it connected to power. You do not want the laptop switching off while it's doing this process. If it does, most likely this device will not work again. Um, so keep the power connected keep the cables in place, keep your laptop uh, with power and we now play a waiting game whilst we see the procedure take place on the screen here, the update. I also recommend not to play around with any extra programs or updates or install any other applications whilst you're uh, doing this update. Right, as you can see the procedure has just completed. It's all on 100% and all the statuses are successful. So we have successfully updated the firmware. Uh, what we're going to do now is switch the modem on and off 
actually just before that we're going to close the program job done and we're going to press the power button hold it down and you'll see that the device is now off and we're now going to switch the device back on So we know that the IP address is going to be 192.168.1.1. We've got the browser open already from my previous attempt. And I'm just going to press enter on that. And I hit without anything really changing, we see the same page uh, again. The user type you want to get in under is admin, and the password is admin as well and there you go we've entered a setup screen to configure the device its wireless settings etc 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 and we're going to do a little bit of that now because there is a few more tweaks um, that are required to make it work with your uh, 3G stick so what we've got now here is a situation where this particular BT um, 3G stick uh, will now work with the T-Mobile base station. The thing is though we need to program the base stations with something called the APN settings. Uh, these settings are required and are different uh, for every um, network provider. Uh, what I've done on the website is I've prepared, if you go a little bit further down, I've prepared a list of the UK most popular networks and their details. Now, my BT stick is also unlocked and it's actually operating with a Vodafone uh, chip. So the settings that I'm looking to put into place are for the Vodafone uh, chip. So we just leave that there. We look at uh, Vodafone, uh, which is here on the screen. I'm on contract, so we know that the APN uh, point would be internet and the username and password is web web so we're going to go back to the wireless uh, gateway page and we're just going to click on next on this wizard and see where it takes us the profile name is just a quick label for your settings um, now I believe, although I could have this wrong and I'll correct it later, but the settings that I need for the dial-up number, uh, which I will document later on the actual forum, uh, but I don't remember from the top of my head right now, I think it's hash star 99 star, or probably hash 99 star. Again, just check this with the documentation later on. Um, the APN, here's where we change it to static and we copy the information from the page. So the APN is internet and the IP address is dynamic, which is perfectly okay. The username is web and the password is web and we'll click on next. Uh, you've got a choice to um, how the stick connects to the internet service. Uh, perfectly normal to just have it on demand so that it will just connect as and when you use the hotspot. Now this is your wireless name that the box is going to transmit, the SSID. I'm going to leave it uh, as it is by default called Gateway and the broadcast means is the Wi-Fi on or off is it shown or not shown in this case we obviously need it enabled it's advisable that you choose an encryption method um, but for simplicity I'm just going to skip that bit uh, if you do choose an encryption method you will just be asked with what key you want to put in as your encryption key for your wireless uh, but we're going to put it into no encryption and choose next and finish.
So it's the settings are updating. And everything's very happy with the update accomplished successfully. So now the base station is ready to dial using Vodafone and as and when I have the stick connected to it. Um, that pretty much completes the tutorial. You're welcome to leave questions uh, on the forum with reference to this procedure. If I can help and if I've got an answer, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, enjoy your unlocked gateway. Thank you very much for listening.